I am really fuzzy when it comes to moisturizers, so the e.l.f. Pure Skin Moisturizer didn't have it easy convincing me. Not that I have found many bad moisturizers during my years of testing skincare, on the contrary. I have found many that do exactly what they are supposed to do, and most of them do that quite well. The problem is more that in order to convince me, they need to wow me. They need to feel so good upon application that I get really excited about using them and those are much harder to find and sadly very often come at quite a high price. So looking at this budget option, what did I think? If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well aging. The website describes the cream as rich yet non greasy and effectively hydrating, formulated especially for sensitive skin. In texture, it is a typical cream, firmer than a lotion but still easy to spread. I can't say how well it works with the pump packaging it comes in, as I have the mini version but have not heard about complaints. Like many fragrance free products, this one has a distant scent coming from the ingredients themselves, and while I personally am not a fan, it is only really noticeable when you spread it but never gets overwhelming. Like all moisturizers, this goes on either as last step in your routine at night or before sunscreen in the mornings. While it could be used for both, I personally don't think it lends itself to morning use, at least not if your skin is normal to oily. They call it rich, but I didn't find it to be very hydrating, and while I agree that it isn't greasy at all, it leaves kind of a protective layer on the skin and is quite tacky, so not something I enjoy on my face during the day. I also found that while feeling rather light when it came out of the tube, it developed more body when you started to distribute it. A possible explanation for this feeling of a protective layer is the presence of three different types of ceramides. Ceramides are a waxy substance and depending on the formulation they are in can often lead to a product leaving a film on the skin which can, especially when your skin is irritated and feeling raw, be very welcome. Other than the ceramide you will find phytosphingosine and caprylic capric triglycerate to replace skin lipids. Glycerin, sodium hyaluronate, and trihalose asiumectans, as well as alantoin and niacinamide to soothe the skin. The whole Pure Skin line contains colloidal oatmeal, again aimed at soothing irritated skin, but at which percentage I can't say. What surprised me in skincare aimed at sensitive skin was the addition of chamomile flower extract. Chamomile is known for its soothing properties in herbal medicine, that much is true, but Plant extracts of any sort are a black box in terms of what they actually contain, so not the best choice for people prone to allergies. The e.l.f. Pure Skin Moisturizer didn't convince me in terms of texture and hydration. While I appreciated the choice of ingredients, I found it to be too tacky and waxy on my skin to enjoy wearing it. I also didn't find it to be very hydrating. If your skin is very irritated, you might appreciate it, but for my skin time, it just didn't deliver. If there is anything you would like to add, please do so in the comments below. I will link to more videos you might find interesting on the screen and add links to my Instagram and blog in the description box. And don't forget, you can join the membership if you want to get more involved. See you soon. Bye!